right activists, including the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, Senior Advocates of Nigeria, Femi Falana, and others have condemned all attacks on journalists and media organizations, calling for press freedom and the reform of the NBC code. Our correspondent, Jacinta Obuku, has more. The roundtable discussion titled Something to Hide, Media Freedom Under Siege in Nigeria, organized by Serap, stresses the breach of human rights and freedom of information for journalists. You don't need to be a lawyer, therefore, to know that the conduct of NBC is illegal, null and void. The amended code should be withdrawn forthwith. Our human rights are our collective rights. And so we need to claim them without begging for them. You can't genuflect to a dictator to give you your right. If I will mash you the more and work on your head. Purviers of information like journalists ought to be allowed to exercise their fundamental rights to freedom of information to the fullest. Otherwise, it will be tantamount to undermining the very essence of democracy. The gathering also includes panel discussion section where veteran journalists spoke on the issues of MBC code and ethics to be upheld by journalists. Freedom of speech is uh, guaranteed so that you have a society where there is a flow of information and people can hold their government accountable. The government will not allow that transparency and accountability because government has something to hide. So we are running a regime of secrecy. So government officials on their own determine what they think you need to know. So that in itself defeats the objectives of an open society, of open government. So we are not running a, an open government, we are running a closed government. In fact, many government departments operate as if they are secret societies. We should be very careful also. Let me appeal to my colleagues. You know, sometimes when things happen, you don't go to the public. We want another forum for us to talk to ourselves. I think we have to do that. Because this country belongs to all of us. I'm saying this because if the country goes up in flames, these big guys, they have multiple passports. They have houses elsewhere that they can easily fled to, leaving us behind. Journalism must be practiced in a democratic fashion. Journalists, senior editors must sit down and take decisions on major news stories based on professional guidelines and ethical values. Everybody who is a news, in a, a news medium must be given a copy of the Code of Ethics. Part of the recommendations was for the president to cease further arbitrary closures of radio and television stations without a court order. Jacinta Ubuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.